Okay, so let's come to the top of the mat. Welcome yoga friends. Tonight we're going to do a very powerful flow class. I hope you enjoy it. Just do your best. Do your best. Here we go. Inhale, arms going up. Look at your hands. Exhale, forward bending. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, step back into plank. Inhale, high plank, hold. Pull your forearms towards each other. Drop your hips down. Zip everything up. Get warm. And then drop your knees at exactly the same time. We're going to open up our spine. So knees on the floor, all fours. I'd like you to pull your hands, your fingers are really wide, pull your hands towards the back of the mat. Really, really push those toes into the floor. Micro or deeply bend your elbows. And then tuck the tail. Exhale, curl your back, pull your forearms towards each other. And then cow back, bring your head towards your butt. And then lean back, not so much in a child's pose. It's just like, call this like, a pouncy dog. I don't know. Don't ask me why. So you're ready to pounce. So you feel this work that's happening. Your arms are straight. Your eyes and heart are forward. In, inhale, curl forward. Angry cat. Exhale, first down dog. Knees deeply bent. And then just move around. Find out what's happening in your body, on your mat, at this moment and begin breathing, <sighs> inhaling, exhaling, exhale all of the day out, hmm, bring your right knee into your chest, curl your back a lot, pull everything in, bring your right foot near your right thumb, reach forward, maybe past your mat, fingertips, press the back heel away, drop your hips and elongate your spine, eyes and heart forward, Lift your toes, press through the base of your big toe, and then left leg goes up parallel to the floor, and then curl your back a lot as you bring the left foot to hover. And it's not gonna hover so nicely at the beginning, but it will improve. Press down and forward with your fingers, and then exhale, drop your left foot. Raggedy doll, oh, breathing. Chest and thigh together. Lean back into your heels. Lift your toes. Inhale, come all the way up. Swan dive. Reverse swan dive. Look up. Exhale. Hands in the middle of the chest. Inhale. Arms up. Look up. Exhale. Forward bending. Inhale. Halfway lift. Exhale. Step back again into plank. Inhale. High plank. Drop your hips. Push your heels away. Press your fingertips into the floor. Zip everything up. Pull your forearms towards each other. Breathe. Sweat. Warmth. All of it. And then roll forward on your toes. Tuck tail. Allow your knees to slowly come down at exactly the same time. Retuck your toes. Modified Chaturanga. Inhale, come forward. Exhale, press down and forward. Undo your toes, all 10 toenails, and a little bit of swishing, opening up the side body. It's gonna be very helpful to do that. Bend your knees, soles of feet to the ceiling, and move into a pouncy dog. So arms are straight, eyes are straight, eyes are straight, eyes are forward. And then curl your back a lot. Angry cat, exhale, up dog. Lift your knees, proud chest. In fact, I'm going to walk my feet forward so my chest is going to come forward of my shoulders. Proud chest. Inhale into this. Exhale, shift back. Down dog. Ah, breathing. Whew. Bring left knee into your chest. Curl your back. Look at your left thumb. Go slower than you want. Land your left foot. Reach your fingertips forward. Press through that left heel, left base of your big toe, right leg rises, 90 degree legs. Roll the right hip down, curl your back, 
pull your belly in. Watch the right foot come to hover beside the left. Don't rush it. Exhale, right foot comes down, raggedy doll. Woo! Well, I'm sure glad I put the fireplace on today. <laughs> Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, press the hands into the top of your femurs and feel. And then inhale, come all the way up. Oh, take a moment, bring your hands in the middle of your chest, drop your shoulders, micro bend your knees, close your eyes and feel. Mm. Open your eyes, inhale, arms up, look up. Exhale, forward bending. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, step back into plank. Inhale, high plank. Exhale, drop your knees, retuck your toes, eyes and heart forward. Inhale, move your chest forward so that you have the power to control your descent on modified chaturanga. Keep your hands exactly there, all 10 toes, toenails on the floor, little swishing of the cobra. Feel the release in your waistline. Mm -hmm. Bend your knees, eyes and heart forward, soles of your feet to the ceiling, pouncy dog. Pressing down and forward, pushing your hips back, but the hips not touching the heels. Inhale, curl your back, angry cat. Exhale, up dog. And then really feel this, and then down dog. Breathing, oh, so good. So just taking a moment to just feel how the heat is melting melting things all through your body. Your shoulders are opening up. Your hips are opening up. Mm. Bring your feet a little closer to your face. Mm -hmm. And then get the right foot mid, mid mat. So we're going to press through the right foot. We're triangulating between our hands and that right foot so that we can press down, micro bend that right knee, and then left leg goes up, three-legged dog. And then just feel this, what this feels like. Roll the left hip down. Mm -hmm. Spread both toes if you're able to, so that you have that feeling. And then curl your back a lot and bring your left knee. Try to see if you can't touch with your nose or your chin, your left knee. Roll forward even further and then drop your left foot on the floor. And drop your right knee. Nice work. Inhale. Low lunge. Bring your arms up. <sighs> Should be nice and warm now. You can exhale. Drop your hips down and forward. Open up your chest. Really feel your chest opening up. Grab your elbows or your hands, whatever makes sense for you. This should be a back bend. Really feel this. And then scarecrow arms, crab hands, Bring your hands down. This time I'm going to let you push your right buttock back as you straighten-ish your left leg. Use your fingertips. Inhale, come on up. Spread your toes. Exhale, chest is coming towards your left leg. Mm, feel this. We're going to do this one more time because hamstrings are so much fun. Inhale, and then exhale, elbows out to the side. Feel. Feel that back toe, then land into that left foot. Lift the back knee, you can be on fingertips here. Press the back heel away. Separate leg forward bend, stretching. So your feet have to be hip width apart, so adjust if you need to. Back heel can lift, you're gonna fall over that left leg. Dig your left heel in. Now bring your hands, if they're not right underneath your shoulders, then do that. Now curl your back a lot, pull your belly in. Imagine you can lift the left foot in your next life. And then move the left leg back into down dog, plant your hands, and then feel. Breathe. Ha, ah, and if you have to sigh, groan, moan, or do anything to release the tension, of these sequences, do it now. Bring that left foot a little bit closer and into the middle of your mat. Press through that left foot, 
Inhale, right leg goes up, three-legged dog. Ah, bend that left knee. You can be on the left heel. Roll the right hip down. Spread the right toes. Nice. Breathe. Feel it. And then curl your back a lot. Left heel is still lifting. You're going to bring your right knee towards your chin or your forehead, and you're going to squish. So there's a lot of weight right on top of your wrist. You're curling your back a lot. Look at your right thumb. Land your right foot near your right thumb. Drop your left knee. Inhale. Bring your arms up. Exhale. Low lunge, but really allowing your pelvis to move forward. Whoa. Back toe is still tucked under. Don't have to have your arms out. This is about your back. So inhale into your chest. Exhale. Oh, soften the back of your heart as you move your gaze up the wall or to the ceiling. Whew. And then slowly, slowly, arms coming out, scarecrow hands, a scarecrow arms, crab hands. And then just straight, you can use your arms and not have them on the floor. This makes it more difficult. You could have your chest coming towards that straightening right leg. With your arms hovering, spread your right toes, and your chest is coming over your right leg. Feel everything. Now land your hands. Inhale, come on up. Give yourself a little break. Exhale, elbows out to the side. Come on down. Woo! Walk into that right foot. Lift the back knee. Press the back heel away. Feel that. Now start moving into separate leg forward bend stretching. So make sure your feet are hip width apart. That's going to be more helpful. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, pour your body over your right leg. Your right heel can be digging in, being attracted to the back left toe. And then move. You could use your blocks here. I'm going to show that. Move your hands right underneath your shoulders. Now pull the right hip back and the left hip forward. Pull the forearms towards each other. Look back at your left toe. Feel like your upper back is so rounded. Now inhale into that and on the exhale, move your right foot elegantly back into down dog. You can let go of your blocks if you're using them now. And now we're in down dog. The next sequence is we're going to be building up. So before we start building up, let's take a moment, come down onto your knees and do your version of a child's pose because, and, and really release those wrists. If you're feeling your wrists already, see if you can't rotate them and circle them around and give them a chance to Pull out a little bit. <sighs> so the sequence we're going to be doing is going to be helping us to slowly build strength. Here we go. Bring your hands forward on all fours. Tuck your toes. Shift back into down dog. Ah, oh, feel that. Inhale, curl forward as if you're going into plank. And then bring both heels to the right side of your mat. Left foot down, right heel lifted. So keep our hands there. We bend our knees enough as if, and we can't do it, but as if we're going to land our butt on the floor. And the whole left side is opening up, and the whole right side is getting quite squishy. Mm-hmm. Then inhale, get your feet now back into the mat, cur into the middle of your mat, curl forward as if you're going into plank, and then rotate your feet to the left side of your mat. Right foot down, left heel lifted. Press down and forward. Keep your throat nice and open. It's really good to look at your hands here because this will help you, the weight of your head. So right side, ah, really opening up. Bend your knees generously. Left side, crunching. Mm. Inhale, curl forward as if you're going into plank. Exhale, both heels to the right, left foot down, right heel lifted. 
Now bring your left hand fingers kind of um, maybe two thirds or halfway down your mat so that you can now start to stack your left rib cage over your right and your knees are still bent, right heel is still lifted. Open up your chest to the front of your mat, keep your throat nice and open. Left arm goes up and circles all the way to the top of your mat. Ah. Pivot those feet, inhale as if you're coming forward on tippy toes, going into high plank. Exhale, both feet over to the left. Right foot on the floor, left heel lifted. Take the weight off of that right hand, bring it kind of mid-mat on fingertips, and start turning your right rib cage over the left. We're still in a very relaxed state with our legs, both knees bent. Circle your right arm bone, bring it back to the top of your mat. Inhale, curl forward. Exhale, bring your knees exactly at the same time on the floor. And maybe go into Japanese seated posture here, just to give our wrists. It takes a long time to build this strength in our wrists. And uh, just take a moment to let that tension and the wrist and the finger tension, let that just settle. You may even want to close your eyes so you can feel the heat and all the energy you're now producing. So we're going to keep adding to this little sequence tonight. Bring your hands forward, all fours, tuck toes, down dog. Mm. Elongate your dog. This will really help as we go through this again. Inhale, curl forward, angry cat, back. It's like an angry cat back. It's like a plank, but angry cat. And then feet over to the right. Left foot on the floor, right heel lifted. Now we're going to stack the rib cage and we're going to take the left arm bone up. And then inhale into your chest. Your throat is open. You might even be looking at the top of your mat. Exhale, straighten your right leg, hover your left. Left arm circles forward on your mat. Exhale, both feet now on the mat, in the middle of your mat. Yeah, down dog. Inhale, curl forward as if you're going to plank. Pivot both feet over to the left. Right foot is on the floor, left heel lifted. Start stacking your rib cage. Inhale, right arm bone goes up. Exhale, straighten your left leg, hover your right. Keep your throat nice and open. Rotate, circle your right arm all the way down. Right hand goes down. Feet come together. Knees on the floor. Sit back. Let your wrists relax. So we're just building this uh, memory of what we're going to be doing. And of course, we're going to go a little deeper. <clears throat> it's going to be great. Come forward. Fingers really wide. Tuck toes. Down dog. Ah. Feel this dog. Inhale, curl forward on tippy toes. Exhale, pivot your feet to the right. Left foot on the floor, right heel lifted. Inhale, inhale, left arm up. Exhale, straighten right leg, left leg. Now comes as high as you can. As high as you can, side plank. Left arm goes down, left foot comes down. Both toes, both sets of toes in the same direction. Inhale, curl forward. Exhale, both heels to the left. Right foot on the floor. Make sure you elongate. Right foot on the floor, left heel lifted. Inhale, right arm bone up. Exhale, straighten left leg. Bring right leg as high as you can. Yeah, breathe, breathe. Circle your right arm all the way to the top of the mat. Land your right foot, knees on the floor. Japanese seated posture. Give some love to your wrists. Breathe. So you know what we're going to do. Of course, we are going to start bringing that leg forward, which is going to be super fun because it's going to happen. It'll be just like magic. Hands on the floor, all fours. Tuck toes. Down dog. <sighs> Whew. Inhale, curl forward. Remember your dog is elongated for this sequence. 
both heels to the right, left foot on the floor, right heel lifted. Inhale, left arm bone high. Exhale, straighten right leg, left leg high. Now you're going to look at the top of the mat. You're going to pull your belly in. You're going to get your hip bones parallel to the front. As you press down and forward with your right hand, you're going to be bringing left foot to the top of your mat as slowly as you can, even more slowly. Oh. And then left foot comes down, right knee comes down. When you're doing this, you, the arm is a counterbalance. Inhale, arms coming up, low lunge. Woo! Exhale, fingers on the floor, butt goes back a little bit, back toes are tucked in. Dig your left heel in. Find this monkey pose. Find your chest and your left leg closer together. Walk into that front foot. <clears throat> Use your fingertips here. Lift the back knee, press the back heel away. I'd like you to bring your left arm onto the inside of your left foot. And you can angle out that left foot a little bit. I want you to inhale, straighten your arms. Exhale, come down, bending your elbows. It's not a fun thing to do, but it's gonna be really great later when we're lying down in Shavasana. Exhale. Bend your elbows, come on down, try to bring your body down. Inhale, straighten your arms. Bring your left hand on the outside of your left foot. Back heel is lifted. Feet are hip width apart. Dig your left heel in. Separate leg forward bend, stretching. Forward onto that left leg, bring your torso. Feel the heat. Nice. And then either use your blocks or your fingertips right underneath your shoulders. Curl your back a lot. Suck everything in. Attract the feet energetically towards each other. And then try to make the left foot light as you bring it back into down dog. Nice. Breathing. <sighs> Inhale. Curl forward as if you're going into plank. Exhale. Both heels to the left. Right foot on the floor, left heel lifted. Remember to elongate, I always forget on this side. Right arm up, inhale. Exhale, straighten the left leg. Bring the right leg up as high as you can. Now look at the top of the mat. Pull your belly in. Right arm goes back as it counterbalances. You bring the right foot, the right leg as slowly as you can. Press through the left hand. Just say, I think I can, I think I can. And then, of course you can. Right foot comes down. Drop your left knee. I hope you're starting to get warm. Inhale, arms coming up. Woo! Exhale, right leg straightens. Dig your right heel in. Bring your chest over that right thigh. This should feel deep as we're getting warmer and warmer. Breathe into this. Bend your right knee, right foot comes on the floor. You're gonna bring your hands on the inside. So both hands on the inside of your right foot. You can angle out your right foot kind of to the far, the top corner, and then lift the back knee. Press the back heel away, feel this. And then inhale, open up your chest. I'm gonna bring my hands forward so I can do this better. Exhale, try to come down evenly. Inhale, come on up, whole body comes up. Exhale, oh, the whole body comes down. Woo! Inhale, whole body comes up. Right hand goes on the outside of that right foot. You can inchworm that right foot now so that it's hip width apart from the left. Separate leg forward bend, stretching. Inhale, exhale. Back heel is lifted, but you're straightening the right leg, dig the right heel in, spread the right toes, bring your hands right underneath your shoulders, curl your back a lot, inhale into your back body, pull your belly in, exhale, right foot comes back elegantly. <sighs> Inhaling, exhaling. <sighs> Let's do that one more time because it's so much fun, but we'll do it fast. Well, not the transition to the front, but you know what I mean. Inhale, curl forward, plank. 
Exhale, both feet to the right side of your mat. Left foot on the floor, right heel lifted. Inhale, left arm up. Exhale, straighten right leg. Left leg goes up. Now press down, open your throat. Look at the top of the mat. Pull your belly in, pull your belly in. Left foot, so slow, so slow. Left foot lands, right knee lands. Inhale, arms coming up. Exhale, hands on floor. Dig your left heel in, spread your left toes. Walk into that left foot, lift the back knee, curl your back a lot, and move into down dog. Good work. Inhale, curl forward, plank. Exhale, both heels to the left. Right foot on the floor, left heel lifted. Inhale, right arm up. Exhale, left leg straightens. Right leg goes up as high as you can. Keep your throat open. Look at your target, the top of the mat. Press down and forward. Pull everything into the center. Curl your back a lot. Right foot, so slowly, so slowly. Well, mine didn't go that slowly. Right foot down. Drop your left knee. Inhale. <laughs> Arms coming up. Exhale. Straighten ish your right leg. Monkey pose. Good work. Should feel that this was significant. Spread your right toes. Bend into that right foot. Reach forward. <clears throat> Lift the back knee. Keep this front leg slightly bent. Move your whole body forward and bring your left leg parallel to the floor. Breathing. Inhale. Exhale. Curl your back a lot and bring left foot to hover right beside right foot. Separate your feet. Ah, come down into a squat for a moment. Woo! I'm a little dewy. Press through the palms of your hands and press those knees open. If you want to sit on a block, that's fine. That would feel good. And now to give your low back a little bit of love, bring your arms forward, curl your back. Ooh. And then shift the weight from left to right on your feet so that you can really get some movement going in, into your hips. We're going to do a couple more big transitions, not a different sequence. So <clears throat> bring your feet closer. Lift your heels. Bring your legs parallel to the floor. So heels are lifted. I'm completely wobbly here, and that's just great. And then press your knees towards each other and come on up. Inhale, arms coming up. Look up. Exhale, forward bending. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, curl your back. Bring your right leg parallel to the floor. Now, squish your inner thighs. Your, bit, your hands are right underneath your shoulders. And pull everything into the center. Spread the right toes. Feel the left toes. And then looking forward, bend your left knee and bring your whole body parallel and down towards the mat and anticipate when the right toe touches. And then pop up into high lunge. Whew. Bring your arms up. If you're shaking, that's terrific. Inhale. Exhale, go into your high lunge, but just go a little deeper. Press the back heel in away to the back of your mat. Then exhale. Hands coming down, arms are scarecrow style. And then right leg comes again parallel to the floor, squishing your right inner thigh. And then curl your back a lot and bring your right foot to hover beside your left. And then raggedy doll, flip the palms of your hands, chill. Whew. Lean back. <clears throat> into your heels and lift your toes so you know where those are. Activate them. Bring your hands forward a little bit. Inhale, go into your hands. Exhale, press the right foot. Left leg comes parallel to the floor. Roll the inner thighs towards each other. Spread the left toes. Inhale. Now bend your right knee. Your whole body is going to come towards the floor and you're going to anticipate that left toe coming to the floor, and then move into your high lunge. 
Back heel is lifted. Bring your arms up if you'd like. Exhale, go deeper into the pose. And then scarecrow arms again, crab hands coming down onto the hands coming down onto the floor. Bend into that right knee. Left leg goes up again. Square your hips. Roll the right hip back, left hip forward. Curl your back a lot. Curl your back a lot. And then left foot comes to hover. And so much better than when we first started, I hope. And then drop your left foot. And then go into a squat again. And you could go into a beautiful squat where you can just feel your shoulders relaxing. Palms open to the ceiling. And then breathing and massaging your organs and your spine and your chest with your breath. And then kerplunk yourself on the floor. Yes. So feet are going to be hip width apart here. You're going to take your hands onto your knees. And we're just going to do a flossing of the spine, but with the hips on the floor. So we're going to curl our back. Tuck your chin in. Curl your back. Oh, that feels good. Whew. And then inhale. Come on up. Chest and eyes towards the, the front of your mat. And exhale. Press those inner knees away from each other and see if you can't bring your feet towards each other just for a moment. Then inhale, take the sides of your legs and plant your feet. Exhale, curl your back, tuck your chin in. Inhale, come on up to neutral. Exhale, land those four corners of your feet, Baddha Konasana, and then press. And then just feel. Feel the movement. Inhale, come on up. Exhale, land your feet. This time, if you have blocks, it's really good to give feedback to your, you know, what we're doing here. You take the blocks and bring the palms of your hands on either side. And then inhale, open up your chest. And then exhale, the first thing is to tuck the tail. Press the blocks. If they're between your knees and your hands, press them. And imagine that you, you really are wearing something way too small and you really do have to suck it all in. And then go as slowly as you can, one vertebrae at a time, all the way down. If your feet start to not be connected with the floor, bring them closer to your bum, your pelvis. And then when you finally get on the floor, if you've got a block, bring your arm bones or not. Bring your arm bones up and overhead and your legs up to the ceiling. Squishing the block as much as you can. Should be between your thighs. And then bend your knees. Take the block between your legs. Put it on your tummy. And then bring your arms. Take the other block and just put it to the side of your mat. And then take your arms scarecrow style. Relax your wrists, relax those thumbs, allow your knees to tent towards each other, and just take a moment to chill. <sighs> nice. Lean over to the left or the right with knees bent. Use your fingertips, push yourself up to seated. And do some twists. These twists should be very available. Now that our legs and hips are, are quite warm, you can take your legs forward. Let's just pull the flesh out to start with. <laughs> and then take your right leg and pull it back. Matador arms, elbows are at the height of your shoulders. Really pull it back. Dig the other heel in to anchor your left leg. And then inhale into this so you feel a length. And then exhale, follow your leg towards as if it's going to go to the floor, but it doesn't, it hovers. Then inhale, pull it back. Exhale, use your right arm to have the leg hover. Then inhale one more time. And then exhale, land your foot on the outside. We're doing an easy twist today because we can go a little deeper, I think. Dig the left heel in. Bring your chest into that knee. And then depending on your flexibility, what's available for you in your twist, your nose is going to be in line with that belly button as you start to move very, very only on your exhales, 
you move deeper and deeper into your twist. Make sure that you have equal weight into your pelvis, into your buttocks on the mat. Those of you who would like to bind here, your left elbow faces the front of the mat and you're going to sneak that left arm underneath the right thigh and then the binder is the grabber, whatever works for you. And remember your nose is still in line with your heart, trying to be in line with your belly button best as you can. Dig your left heel in, illuminate your right toes. Ah, just feel this, how glorious it is. Then inhale, lengthen to the ceiling, bring your arms out, scarecrow style, crab hands, other leg. Bring the left leg back, elbows out, up and out. Inhale, exhale, follow the left leg down. Inhale, so we're introducing this movement instead of creating tension or entering with tension into the pose. And then one more time, exhale. Inhale, left leg goes back, ah, as back as you can, and then land it on the outside of your right leg. <clears throat> Move the flesh if you need to, get even. Inhale, Whew. exhale, bring your chest close into that knee, dig your right heel in. Start experimenting with your twist today only move on the exhale, so inhale, your chest lifts, ooh, exhale, ooh, that feels good. If you want to try binding, this would be a good variation to try binding. Right elbow is facing the front of your mat, your right palm is facing to the floor, and then you can sneak. But you want to make this, you don't want to do this if it's going to cause you to have tension in your neck or in your shoulders that you don't want because we want the breath to be nice and big and not full of tension. So inhaling, mm, exhaling, yep, nice. Your neck will tell you how far you can go in this pose. Don't wrench your neck for the, for the sake of this twist. It's not worth it. Then inhale into your chest. Bring your arms up, scarecrow style. And then take another inhale, next inhale. And then exhale, come forward, nice. Wide leg forward bending. So I like to, if, if you are able to stay on the floor, if you have that in your practice, um, I do actually like to take my hands right underneath my shoulders and lean forward so that the leg bones the buttocks are relaxed, but my hips are off the floor at this point, and the leg bones are asked to do a little bit more work. So dig your heels in. Come on up. Let's bring your arms up to start with you and grab your elbows. Mm. Dig those heels in. Start tilting your pelvis. Bring your hands forward. Inhale, exhale. Go into your pose. Whatever the version of your pose is, whether your hands are behind or whether you have one hand and in front and the other one not or you have your arms straight and you're feeling. So you, you go to where you're feeling and where your breath is perfect. You're inhaling and you're exhaling. The exhale feels good. Spread your toes. So good. And inhale, come on up. Nice. Keep that tilt in the pelvis. Keep your chest lifting. Drop your shoulders. Dig your heels in. And you can micro bend your knees so you can really feel how you can keep that pelvis tilted forward. And then grab your elbows and bring your palms together and then look up and then just feel what is happening in your body tonight. Mm, lovely. And then hands coming into the middle of your chest. Lean back. See what you can do without using your hands. Can, oh, can you bring your feet into Baddha Konasana, soles of your feet together? See if, how close you can bring them. I'm going to grab my toes. Some people like to intertwine their fingers between toes, which is actually kind of nice if your toes are cold or wide, 
I'm going to pull my toes towards my shins. Inhale, open up your chest. Exhale, come on down. Now, elbows are kind of can sneak and help here by pressing those leg bones, the thighs particularly, thigh bones all the way towards the floor. Some energy there. Mm, nice. Inhale, come on up. Exhale, take the sides of your legs, the sides of your knees, and land your feet. So the next part is there's some optional aspects. So we can do supported bridge pose with a block, or if you don't, want, you don't have a block, you don't use it. Or if back bends are in your practice, we are now ready to do those things. I'm going to teach the supported bridge with a block. And the supported bridge in the block, with the block that I really love now, is with my arms way overhead on the floor. It just does this beautiful opening of the fascia. So we're going to spend a little bit of time here. So that means those of you doing full back bend can maybe go up and down two or three times, or you can use your breath to help you out with that. And otherwise, we're all going to come down in a controlled manner, tuck the tail, hands are forward. And sometimes I like to wiggle my fingers, maybe wave to myself because it just really, really helps a lot more. It gives me more energy, it gives me another distraction. And then when I come down, oh, I get a nice reward. Take your block if you're going to use it. Bring your feet close in to your buttocks as, as far away as when you bring your arms alongside your body, just the middle finger is touching the back of your heel. And then you can just squinch it a little, a couple millimeters away. Now, pull your feet towards the back of your heart. Lift your toes. Inhale into your heart. Exhale any height that works for you, for your block. And it's in the flat part of your sacrum. And your buttocks are hanging forward. So this you want a relaxed attitude in terms of your back body so that the whole front body can also relax. You can interlock your fingers to the webbing, bring your hands close in underneath or past the block, or you can bend your elbows and press the backs of your arms. Arms are 90 degrees, fingers wide. If you don't have a block, you can also take, I'll show, take the sides of your hips with bent elbows and support with your fingers coming around. This is a little more difficult, especially if you have long arms because your hips are going to be really high and it's not as relaxing as using a book or a block. So those of you who are doing your full back bends, make sure that you do your counter pose, which is to curl up into a tight ball afterwards and do it, do your back bends and your counter pose with, oh, with a relaxed entry and a relaxed exit. Those of us who are on our blocks can bring your arm bones up and overhead, palms open to the ceiling, and you'll just feel this whole ah, whoosh of relaxation. We're walking around with the, our nervous system on alert. And this is a way of letting the front of our body know that it doesn't have to be so active and ready to do something. And it doesn't matter whether it's good tension or bad tension. The body doesn't make a differentiation. It just says, oh, I should be paying attention to this tension. <laughs> and this is a chance for it to dissipate. The way we help it dissipate is to let gravity make us very, very heavy and have our breath moving everywhere that we can move it. So that could be from the base of the pelvis all the way up to your armpits, the base of your throat. And you could close your eyes so you can really concentrate on this. Now press your feet, those of us in supported bridge pose, press your feet and pull them energetically towards your block. Bend your elbows and bring your arm bones alongside your body. Your arms are 90 degrees. Lift your toes, inhale. Exhale, 
lift your hips, press your toes back down, and move the block. And then tucking the tail, pulling the belly button in, pubic bone to sternum. We're going to move the shoulder blades away from each other. We're going to get upper back, middle back, low back. Slowly, 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 all the way to the floor. And then separate those shoulders again. Allow your knees to tent and then really just feel for a moment. It's the most important thing that we do in yoga is take that moment to feel and go so deep. We can even feel bones moving around. We can feel muscles releasing. We can even feel circulation. And this is so useful for us. So many levels. Bring your knees into your chest and then roll over to one side and come on up. Come into a simple cross-legged situation. Take your hands and rub your legs. And this is the place in the practice where if you have blankies and cozy things and favorite music that you love, or if you'd like to just pick one of our Shavasana music videos that is on the channel and continue, we have them as short as three minutes and as long as 22 minutes, so you, you decide. But stay in your Shavasana for as long as possible. And I just want to say, it means the world to me that you're coming and visiting my yoga studio and doing yoga with me. Namaste. Thanks so very much.